so here we go again. Uh, about 150 kilometers from Hayai to Trang. Uh, so we're gonna smash that out. Nice, easy day on the bike. Uh, feeling, uh, legs are feeling not not the best. Some lady actually beat me walking up the stairs this morning, which is not, which is not not a good sign at all. And uh, we're just gonna just gonna smash it out like uh, like we always do. And I've actually got a little bit of uh, pain in my leg. Um, on the inside of my left knee, as well as the heel of my left leg as well. I've got a little bit of pain there. Um, so hopefully just take it a little bit easy over the next two days and try not to aggravate that a little bit too much. But uh, yeah, I just had a little meal of rice. Awesome, like probably at least 10 hours of sleep last night. So if you put in a big day on the bike, you're gonna get a lot of sleep. So we definitely slept very well last night and we're just gonna fucking smash it out, baby. so far into the ride today. It is a hot one out there today. It is steaming out there. 36, 37 degrees, but making sure I stay really, really hydrated uh, as that is important in keeping you cool on the bike and keeping your performance up. So I've, uh, I've been riding for just about four hours now. And I think I've gone, I've gone pee, I've stopped to go pee about four or five times so far. So I've actually made a pretty big conscious effort uh, yeah, get it yeah, go for it. Um, made a conscious effort to make sure that I'm drinking more water than normal just so that I just make sure that I'm just not dehydrating myself because on a hot day like this, you do not want to get dehydrated. And we got a little treat for myself as well. We got some solar drive bananas. And we're here at my favorite place in the world. It's 7-Eleven. Why is 7-Eleven so great? Because it's air conditioned inside. And they, uh, they always have nice chilled water for a good price. And there's other other little goodies you can get in there as well. Like I've got, I used to always buy this like little, uh, these, these soy milk things uh, when I was in Thailand last time. And you can also buy juice in there as well. And you can just get different uh, different qualities of water as well. So it's uh, definitely a good little pit stop. And uh, so yeah, we just have about 60 or so kilometers left. And we're just taking it really easy today because I have I feel like I've really kind of overextended myself with probably yesterday's ride, so it was 235 kilometers yesterday. Maybe a little bit too much of what I should have done in a day. So uh, definitely feeling a lot of definitely feeling a lot of pain in my knee right now and in my ankles. So it's actually uh, basically I'm not able to put out as much power into the bike as I normally would. So we're just going a little bit slower than normal, but we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there eventually, and uh, we'll catch up with you guys a little bit later on. How's it going guys? I made it 157 kilometers here into Trang, Thailand. And uh, arrived here a few hours ago. I've just kind of been chilling and uh, relaxing uh, since I got here. So we did 237 yesterday and 157 today. So quite a few kilometers in the past two days and uh, it'll be nice to have a few days off here and uh, maybe get a massage or something like that. Anyways, just before I wanted to kind of leave off for today, is I just wanted to kind of quickly talk about unconventional living, right? Living uh, away from the norm, like not being normal, right? And being kind of weird with how you live your lifestyle. And you know, you get this a lot, especially in the uh, in the vegan, uh, raw vegan community. You're just weird, right? Now it's kind of reminded me of that kind of little uh, that kind of little thing here in Southeast Asia, because I've been riding, you know, through these little towns and stuff here in Asia and people are looking at me like I am the strangest person ever, right? They're just looking at me like, as I ride by, like their jaw almost drops and they're just staring at me, right? You know, I go to little restaurants and little towns and the kids there, they just fucking, they just stare at me like I'm 
Like they have never seen a white person in their life before. Especially a white per person riding a bicycle in fucking spandex too, right? They have never seen anybody like that in their life before. So it's very, very odd behavior for them to see. Even me videotaping myself like this in the streets, people just look at me like I am so strange, right? Everybody who walks by just kind of looks at me like I'm just the weirdest guy ever. When you're gonna be living in an unconventional life, when you're gonna be, you know, kind of pushing the boundaries, pushing the limits of, you know, and basically breaking the normality of what most people live, you are going to be met with resistance almost every single time. And it just might come in in very odd ways, but you typically always get some sort of uh, resistance from others around the world. And, and you know what, you just kinda gotta, you just kinda gotta ignore it, right? If you know in your conscience and you know in your heart that you're living the right way, the influence of others should not really make a difference to how you live your life, right? If by your own standards and by your own values, you're living a life on purpose or you're living a purposeful life in a way that you think is best for the world and best for yourself, then other people's opinions and their judgments and their criticisms don't mean shit, right? They don't mean anything. So if you're gonna be living kind of a crazy lifestyle, you're gonna be met with resistance almost every single time. But the thing is, if you're doing it for your own enjoyment and you're doing it for the for basically bettering the world, then you just gotta keep doing it and let those the naysayers, let the uh, the judges and the cr and the massive criticizers screw them, right? Just screw them, right? Just don't even don't even worry about them. Don't pay them the attention if they can't even say anything nice about your lifestyle, right? Awesome. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day. Peace out.